watch enthusiasts, it's your boy Jay Truth bringing you another episode on the Time Hotel vlog series. Please add and subscribe on the Time Hotel Queensville channel. Leave a like and a comment. We'd really appreciate all the support. So before we start, just a quick wristwatch check. What am I wearing today? I'm wearing the Omega Speedmaster reference number 3510.21, the Marui Panda. Hope you guys like the content on that regarding alternative watches and this specific watch with the alternative watch for the Rolex 6263 Daytona. So today is another alternative watch that's in my grill list and it's more of a, not an actual watch, but an actual feature in the watch. Let's take a look at the first one. This is the Omega Speedmaster Speedy Tuesday Edition and it's a reverse panda. I love reverse panda dials. And this is also a 1861 caliber movement, meaning that it's a manual wind. Very similar to my own Omega Speedmaster Professional. It's currently on service at Omega. So just because of the dial, they're selling this watch at a subpar 10K retail. And now since it's limited edition, you won't be able to find this for anything less than $15,000 with box and papers. So it's something I'll be able to pass up on because I already have an Omega Speedmaster. Another Grail watch that I like is this Hoyer 7721, which is a, it's a Hoyer Carrera. It comes with a bunch of different variation, like the Mario Andretti. This is also a manual one, pump pushers with no crown guards and a reverse panda like the previous one. So I thought real hard in trying to find a watch that's going to be maybe sub 5,000 and still have a reverse panda and a manual wine. So I thought of what company can I look into? What better company than a company called Hamilton that also has a history? For most people that like watches, they already know which watch this is. In 1969, there were three watches that were fighting for the title of the first automatic chronograph. This Hamilton Chronomatic was one of them. No one really knows which was the first one, but it's the three companies were Hamilton, Seiko, and the Zenith Al Primero, which you guys know was the first to power the Rolex Daytona. I personally like Hamilton because it comes from a more humble beginning. They were actually an American brand that has Swiss roots after they got bought out. But this specific Chronomatic has very special features. If you look closely, the crown is it's on the opposite side where it usually is, which should be over here. And there's two pump pushers and no crown in the middle. And the tacking meter, which is usually on the outside bezels like in the Daytonas and in the Speedmasters, is inside. The date wheel is at 6 o'clock and not the usual 3 o'clock. And as you notice, these bracelets is uh, either a Milanese or I believe these are shark mesh bra bracelet for the Hamilton. I waited and waited to try to get this watch, but I also wanted it in a reverse pan. And as you see, this is a regular panda. But lo and behold, it actually comes in a, in a reverse panda now. About a year and a half ago, they actually had this on a limited edition basis, but it was a 42 millimeter, this specific one has a better, better specs that actually fits everything that I want in a reverse panda. So let's go to the unboxing. I'm very excited guys because this is the first time I actually bought a watch straight from the dealer and it just released about a couple of, uh, a couple of weeks ago. Well, actually I think just a couple of days. So let's just set up the watch right here. Hopefully that's a good angle for you guys. Um, shout out to Joseph Edwards on Fifth Avenue. Check them out. They're right here in New York, right across the Bryant Park Library. They gave me a really good price and a really awesome bag and a bunch of extra stuff that you will see. So from first look, what does it look like? It comes in this really cool box, Hamilton box. And this is an actual unboxing. I've only looked at it, but I haven't taken out of the box or worn it. Uh, it's really cool. Look at this wooden case right here. Let's take it out of there. So what does this box have first? 
I have here, what is this? HamiltonChronomaticWatch.com. Got a little manual. Yeah. New movement, don't need that. They gave me free strap because I got it. You'll see which, which bracelet I got it, but this is a free strap. Shout out to Joseph Edwards again. Thank you guys. You guys are really great. They also gave me a cool bag. I'll show you guys that later. Here's the warranty card. It's gonna have to blur that out later. Two year warranty. And obviously the manual booklet. Now to the watch of the hour. Very excited, we'll go over the specs. Boom, look at that. It's a reverse panda as I like it. I saw this at the dealer and I knew I had to have it. I was actually about to buy the automatic version. A lot of people don't like this version because it's not true to the history, but who cares? It's, it's supposed to be a different watch. Like this doesn't have the date wheel right on the bottom. And obviously it's not a Panda but this this is just a really beautiful watch okay so quick overview so from one end to the other the diameter of this watch is a 40 millimeter about a year and a half ago or I, actually i believe in 2017 they came out with the same dial tone but with the automatic version but it was 42. i actually hunted that watch but it was too big for my wrist this has no crown guard pump pushers i will be taking out all these plastic from you guys as you can see as the Milanese case Milanese bracelet still has the tag this retails for how much is it? 2019 oh my guys just want to be very careful with this I was gonna get it on the leather strap, but the guys, Morris from Joseph Edward threw this strap in and he said, just get it on the Milanese. Or actually, this is a shark mask. Sorry, I keep messing that up. Very beautiful. So let's go back to the specs. This is a 40 millimeter from one to the other. I believe I haven't measured it from lug to lug. It's a 49 millimeter um, manual line. We're gonna try the manual line here. I have an Omega Speed Master. I'll compare it to that. Let's see if you guys can hear it. Let's see if you guys see that second hand smooth as I, as I wind it. Oh, it's moving. Check that out. Very beautiful. You guys get a quick lesson on how to wind it. Wow, this is actually a little longer than the Speedmaster, but this is also a 60 hour power reserve. Okay, let's just leave it for that. I don't want you guys watching me wind for the rest of the video. It's 60 hour power reserve, 14.35 thickness. It's a little on the thick side, but I don't know, a Speedmaster is also a bit like, like that. A lot of people on the forums are getting mad on how thick this watch is, and I'm like, I don't know. I think it's really beautiful. Um, let's check out this chronograph. It's a pump pusher chronograph. Oh, I, I love that sound. Check that out, guys. So for most people who don't know, chronographs are usually fixed second hands. The actual second hands is right here. Man, look at that. Sweet. And this will only go up to 30 minutes. As you can see, that's a 30 minute counter and the two second hands on the left side. It's not a chronometer grade, but for $2,000, can't beat it. Check this out. Okay, I'm going to put it on the wrist. Just for a point of reference, I have a six and a half inch wrist. Oh, let's set this. I think the guy showed me. It has a pretty cool set feature. Kind of just look at here and see right here, guys. There's this little sliver right there that you're supposed to pop up. Check 
ね。Actually, I won't do it now. Let's just keep it here. I want to scratch the watch up. Check that out, guys. I love it. A nice, cool rally strap. A little on the thick side, but I don't know you can't win. And as, as you can see, the tachymeter, tachymeter is right here, is on the inside and not on the outer bezel. I guess you got to worry a little bit more about scratching this bezel up. And in addition, this is a sapphire crystal. That's why you see that the little hump right here.、Um, show you guys the back. It has this, not an open case back. Let's take out this plastic. What does it say? It has a Hamilton Swiss made. You guys see that? Very beautiful. Swiss made water resistance.、Uh, I'm gonna enjoy this watch, guys. Look, so for those people that's in the market for a manual wind, okay, let's see if I could fully bring it over. It has full patina, pump pushers, no crown guard.、Uh, you actually have to wind it pretty long, as you know. You, I've already wound this. This is the longest I've ever wound a watch. My Omega Speedmaster don't even wind this long. Uh, 60 hour power reserve. This is a 20 millimeter lug for the bracelet. And oh, there you go. It's fully wound. And double action pump push. So if you have any question, leave a message down there. Sorry, I, I kind of geeked out a little when I got this watch. I mean, This watch is gonna hold me off for another two years, and I'm only one watch away to pretty much finish my collection. I know a lot of people will be mad about the thickness, this 14.35 thickness, but it has a 100 meter water resistant. I believe it has 28,000 beats per minute. Can't beat it, guys. And check out that crown, sign crown. How could you beat it for the price?、Uh, People at Joseph Edwards gave me a pretty good price.、Uh, if you guys go there, I'm sure they'll do the same for you. Or you guys can wait. But more likely, th these are going to fly right off the shelves. Well, I hope you guys like that. Please add and subscribe. Peace out. I'm going to be enjoying this watch.